A lot of talk has been around the increased interest by private equity and investment banks in Fashion Week and scouting brands for that next big accessory success story like Michael Kors or maybe a Tory Burch. What's your take on this interest in the fashion space? Have you noticed uh, an increased uh, intensity? What we have seen is in contemporary and luxury and some of these brands, they've, they've basically come out of nowhere and become really big brands and generate very, very high margins. Part of that's the categories they're in, it's the multi-channel distribution, retail stores tend to generate higher margins. But what you're seeing, and you saw it years ago when Ralph Lauren came out and Tommy Hilfiger and Calvin Klein, you know, fashion has always been a, a business that can generate huge successes. Now, by the very nature of the business, it's fashion. It's got risk in it. But absolutely, we've seen some very high profile successes. You know, when we saw Coach, I remember when Coach was a billion dollar business, and, and now look how big it is. Um, uh, but, you know, it, it, it's absolutely true that, A, there's more investors looking at fashion and retail, and there are more businesses. There's newer brands being created that are, that are very interesting. There's also discussion about the relevancy of Fashion Week going forward. Uh, there's some idea that the Internet being the disruptor that it is is going to make Fashion Week irrelevant. What's your take on, on the future of Fashion Week and its whole role in the, the business model of building these fashion brands? And what we see is the brands developing social media strategies or targeting their social media strategy around Fashion Week. It's a great way to get the brand out to a broader audience, whether it's Instagram or Vine or, or you know, twi uh, Twitter or um, Facebook, because you've got real content to post and say, and it really illustrates how exciting brands and, and the fashion industry can be, because you see it real time.